Side note, you will never reach my goals. I be walking with a slime nose, and I'm also walking with my side hoe. What is going on guys, it's Ming. Today we're going to be uh, telling the story about my spring break to Fort Myers Beach, Florida. And uh, I'm going to be doing this kind of cut com style, like, you know, like old phase when they used to actually like trick shot and shit like that. I'm just going to be playing some Fortnite, loading into a game right now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you the story about the first time I've ever gotten hammered. And uh, yeah, getting bitches, let's get it. Alright. We're gonna hot drop pleasant. But anyway, yeah, so, uh, I went on spring break this year, uh, with me, my whole family, which is my mom, my dad, myself, and then my two sisters. And then I, we also went with my best friend Lorenzo's family, which it was just him and his mom. And then he brought his friend Ryan. Alright, so those are the characters in the story, the main characters. And, um,. Yeah, so we get we get to Florida, everything's chilling, we get to the hotel, it's nice, yeah, all that shit. And uh I wasn't really expecting to bitch. I don't even L2 spam though. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't expecting to get like drunk or uh, high or anything like that over this trip just because you know like I didn't want to bring my pen through the security and uh, so wasn't gonna be high and I wasn't really expecting a drink because all of our parents were gonna be there you know but whatever that uh, ended up not coming true thankfully and uh, turns out I was only sober for like the first two days of the trip. Get out of here, bro! Come on. There's another guy rolling up in a ball right now. Damn it! On the third day, we go to this ice cream shop, and uh, it's already pretty crazy because right before this ice cream shop, I took a hit of this random stranger's fucking wax pen, and like these guys legit look like crackheads. And they had a, I saw them smoking the pen, and I was just like laughing. And the guy looks at me and is like, "You want a hit?" And I'm like, "Nah, man, I'm alright. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think I should because, like, you know." My mom always told me not to take drugs from strangers. Uh, yeah, that's some good advice, by the way. Don't take drugs from strangers. I'm stupid for doing that, and uh, not my finest hour, but whatever. We had a good time. It wasn't laced or anything. I'm still alive. I'm still here. <laughs> and like Ryan and Lorenzo are just like, "What the fuck are you doing, bro?" And I'm like, "I'm having a good time." And Ryan met up with some of his friends that he knew like from school they happened to be at the same place and they plugged him alcohol so like he was so he was drinking that and we all go to this ice cream shop with our parents and ryan's hammered i'm freaking stoned and our parents are, are like are all hammered just because you know like it's their vacation too <laughs> so like the, we're just fucking making all this fucking noise in the ice cream shop eventually ryan leaves like he got tired of waiting in line or whatever and he said i'm going to dairy queen so he goes to his stupid Dairy Queen, and on the way to Dairy Queen, he sees this freaking like mosh pit this group of people on the beach, like just starting to form. So like Ryan comes back to us with this information. He's like, "Hey, there's like a mosh pit on the beach. You guys want to go?" And I'm like, "Fuck yeah! Like what? What else? What else are we gonna do?" So <laughs> teenagers drinking, smoking, fucking like there's this like huge ass speaker. I got to hold it. I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna go through my phone and put up some fucking pictures, dude. This is literally like I cannot make this shit up. <laughs> like I wasn't really sauced up on the first night of the mosh. It was fun, but like like I like I didn't get hammered yet. Like we didn't have any alcohol or like enough. So so after the first night of the mosh, 
we obviously wanted to go back but this time we wanted to go back sauce stuff like ryan was a little sauce but like he didn't really have that much alcohol in this thing you know like like and he was drinking it throughout the day uh, so ryan hits up the friends that plugged in the alcohol before and is like hey bro you guys going to the mosh tonight like like every fucking kid who was on spring break went to this fucking mosh i kid you not bro it was fucking wild So, uh, they hook us up with some elk, like, I buy some, obviously, I'm not a leech, I'm throwing for my elk, and, uh, I, this is a big day for Lil Ming, because, uh, he's kinda nervous, he's never really been that sauce up before, but he's planning on getting fucking hammered, maybe even asking for some wax pens that he sees in the crowd, which I did, by the way, uh, fucking, <laughs> this is fucking scary, bro, I'm just trying to do my commentary. Get out of here, kid! That's why you don't push. That's why you don't push down on Lil Ming, bro. I swear, people play so aggressive. They don't even understand that Lil Ming's a freaking savage, bro. But yeah, shout out Jersey and Janice from freaking Grand Rapids <laughs> for giving me my wax or for letting me hit their wax pens, dude. You guys are goats. Anyways, uh, yeah. So Lil Ming has his elk. Starts getting hammered. We, we, we were drinking some beers before we went to the mosh too. Like midway through, I'm just like, dude, I want to hit up some bitches. <laughs> like something like that, bro. So I literally just started walking around meeting random people, bro. Yo, you guys want to see a magic trick? <laughs> and be, I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> and I'd be like, all right, watch this. I'm going to make my Snapchat appear. And then it was like, boom. And I pulled out my snap code or whatever. It was literally the... The cringiest shit I've ever seen. Oh my god. You're garbage. I'm not, even, I'm not even kidding you. I do not remember, like, half of the people I met, like, when I met them, like, how I met them, like, I, like, asking their name. I literally just remember waking up the next morning and having, like, a bunch of fucking Snapchats on my phone. Like, I swear to god, dude. <laughs> like, I do not remember half of these people. But I still talk to some of them, so that's pretty baller. And, uh, yeah. To cut a long story short, bro, this mosh happened, like, literally every night we were there. So we went literally every night. And these guys, like, drove themselves. So they brought a lot of fucking alcohol. We bought some more. It was a good fucking time. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. I'm getting, like, I'm just chilling, like, going through the mosh, like, usual, per use. And, uh, at some point, I kind of, like, somebody taps me on the shoulder and is like, Hey, bro, you alright? You kind of stumbling. And I, I'm drunk as fuck, dude. I don't know that I'm stumbling. And I'm hitting wax pens. So, I'm, cr like, I'm crossed. I don't know what's going on. I'm just having a great time bouncing around, looking like an idiot. Like this fucking Asian over here, bro. Riley! I want to wrestle somebody. It's literally the first thing that came into my mind, but I, like, that's what happened. So I was like, nah, I want to wrestle. And then this kid heard me. Like, he overheard me talking to my friend. And he's like, you want to wrestle? And I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to wrestle, bro. And he's like, bro, nah, like, I don't want to hurt you, bro. And I'm like, no, like, no, dude, I don't want to hurt you either. Just like, just like a little friendly wrestle, bro. Like, you know, like, I don't know. Just a uh, fucking friendly, shut the fuck up. Me and this kid, all right, this kid agrees to wrestle me. Hold on, I just gotta snake that kill real quick. And I completely outplay this fucker. Oh shit. Oh. Lil Ming or Phase Sway? That was literally the Phase Sway edit. Or the Phase Sway retake. Where'd this bitch go?
Get out of here, bruh. Oh my god, they all want a piece. Damn it! And like, I take two steps. And I am so fucking tipsy, bro. I, I do not have, like, anything that even resembles a fucking good sense of balance. So, they're just crowd forming around us, bro. And I swear to God, I take two steps. I go one, two, realize, oh shit. I don't, like, I don't even know if I can, like, fucking run right now. Like, I don't know if I can, like, wrestle, bro. But I go with it. I take two steps. This kid fucking runs at me, bro. He picks me up by, like, my two legs. And I'm just like, oh, I'm going up. And, like, I don't have the sense to sprawl. I don't have the sense to, like, try to, like, you know, lock up with him so he can't get to my legs. I don't have yeah, I don't have any of that. I'm just thinking, I want to fucking wrestle this kid. You know? Like, I'm just being stupid. So, he picks me up, bro. He flips me over, like, his fucking shoulders. And I do, like, a 360 in the air and just land on my ass. And I'm like, oh. Everybody's like, oh, <laughs> dude. And I'm just saying the whole time, I'm like, bro. I'm thinking, if I was sober, I would have so kicked his ass. Bro, I'm just confident that I would have fucking beat him if I was sober. At least put up a better fight. Come on, that's the story, bro. That's it. That's all you have to fucking know, Ryan. I would fuck that little shit up, bro. Because he's a little bitch. He thinks that I'm a 5'5 five, five Asian dude that I would lose to him. I bet I could bench press him, bro. He's a, he's a little bitch, dude. And I would fuck the shut him up, bro. I'm trying to tell the story, but shut the fuck up. I know. Dude, am I really being that bad? I'm gonna lay down and fucking kill myself, bro. <laughs> Janice is dope, bro. So is Jersey. So is Jersey. Jersey is dope too. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. Low pump. Gucci game. Let's get it, Ryan. But anyways, guys, that is my story about the first time getting sauced up, the best fucking spring break ever, the best vacation I've ever had, and honestly, one of the best times I've ever had. I met some friends, bro. Like Ryan, he's a really good friend now. Like I just met him like on spring break, you know, and. uh Met a lot of good people in Fort Myers too that I still talk to. So, yeah, I'm really thankful that that happened. I'm really thankful that I'm a kind of a party animal now because of it. And, uh, I mean, uh, don't do drugs, kids. I, uh, it's all right. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's been, uh, Ming. And thanks for watching this video. Uh, I'll see you later. Peace out.